Hi, I'm Tim Berglund, and we are going to spin up a three-node cluster with CCM. DataStax Enterprise is a distributed database, but sometimes you want to play around with it without having to spin up a bunch of actual instances in the cloud. CCM, the Cassandra Cluster Manager, lets you build a cluster right on your development laptop. Installing CCM on a Mac is a piece of cake if you use the Homebrew Package Manager. If you don't use Homebrew, it's pretty easy to set that up too. Once it's running, you can use it to install CCM. On Linux, there are a few more steps, but if you're a Linux user, you should be okay here. Make sure you have the Python Package Manager, PIP, installed. You'll need a couple of Python packages, CQL and PyYAML. Then, clone the CCM repository from GitHub, run the setup script, and you're good. If you're running on a Mac, create a new interface for every node besides the first. So, with CCM installed, let's create a cluster. There are a few things going on in this command line. We're asking for three nodes, and we're asking for Datastax Enterprise, which we're going to have to download from a public Datastax repository. Use your Datastax Academy credentials for the username and password here. Specify the version of Datastax Enterprise you want, and then name your cluster. Now, this cluster is really just a bunch of configuration files in your user home directory. It's kind of like a cluster in a jar as if you shrunk down the installation to its minimum set of config files and put them all in one place. CCM manages all this config for you. Once you've created it, you can use CCM to start it, and you've got a cluster right there on your laptop. You can take nodes down and back up again, and generally interact with the cluster like it was normal. It even has some convenience commands for running node tool on a particular node or starting up SQL Shell without having to think about what IP address each of your simulated nodes is using. You probably won't want to hit a CCM cluster with a heavy load, but it's great for functional testing, experimenting with language drivers, and just learning the basics.